Good morning, students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction, wherein we are learning the pavement materials and its characterization. Where in today's lecture we will discuss on the three tests that should be conducted on the bituminous material. Okay, and those tests are the viscosity test, softening point test, and the float test. So, starting the lecture with the first one, that is the viscosity test. Now, before going in detail for the test, first we should know the viscosity. In general terms, viscosity is measure of resistance to flow. Many researchers believe that the rating of bitumen should be absolutely by the viscosity unit instead of the conventional penetration unit. Still, we define or we decide the grade of bitumen depending on its penetration value. But though this property of fluid, the property as a fluid of bitumen is also very important while you are using it for the road construction. The viscosity is defined as the inverse of the fluidity. Okay, viscosity thus defines the fluid property of the bituminous material. The degree of fluid of the binder at the application temperature that greatly influence the strength characteristics of the resulting paving surface or the paving mixes. The high or the low viscosity during the mixing or compaction has been observed to result in lower stability value. There is an optimum value of viscosity for each aggregate gradation of the mix and the bituminous grade. Now, at the low viscosity, the bituminous binder simply lubricates the aggregate particles instead of providing a uniform thick film for the binding action. Similarly, if the viscosity is high, it also resists the compactive effort and the resulting mix is become heterogeneous in the character that exhibiting the low stability values. The viscosity of a material is determined as the time taken in 5 seconds for 50 ml of the sample to flow through a 10 mm orifice of the standard tar viscometer at few specified temperature that is 35 degree, 40 degree, 45 and the 55 degree Celsius. As here you can see in the figure, we have a bow in which we have collected a bituminous sample, okay, in Below that particular bowl, we have a flask. Okay, now what to do for conducting this test? We have to provide an orifice that is a kind of hole at the bottom of the bowl surface. Okay, and those orifices, those holes should be of 10 millimeter. Okay, here we have. 50 ml of sample in the bow okay and now we have to heat the bituminous material at the different different temperature and those temperatures are 35 degree 40 degree 45 degree and 55 degree celsius okay when you provide when you give the heat to the bituminous material it get melt okay and we have to observe that how much time that bituminous material is taken to go through, to flow through that 10 mm orifice to the bottom flask. Okay. And depending on that particular time, we will define the viscosity of the material. The viscosity of cutback bitumen is determined as the time t 
taken in the seconds for 50 ml of the sample to flow through the 4 mm orifice at 25 degrees Celsius. Or we can use the 10 mm orifice at 25 or 40 degree Celsius temperature. Okay. Thus, the orifice is suitable to taste tar and cut packs. Okay. So, this was all about the viscosity taste. Now, we will move on the second taste that is the softening point taste. The softening point is the temperature at which the substance attain a particular degree of softening under the specified condition of taste. The softening point of the bitumen is usually determined by the ring and ball taste. Generally, the higher softening point indicates the lower temperature susceptibility and is preferred in the warm climate. That means the material that has the lower temperature susceptibility that material that bitumen only and only used in the warm climates but if we talk about the taste a brass ring is used to conduct a taste and that brass ring containing the test sample of bitumen and those should be suspended in a liquid like water or the glycine at the given temperature. As shown in figure, here you can see these two are the brass rings wherein we have poured the bituminous material. Okay. After filling the bow with the water or the glycine, a steel ball is placed upon the bituminous sample and the liquid medium is then heated at a rate of 5 degree Celsius per minute. As you can see in the figure, here we have two different balls. Okay, this steel ball should be placed on the brass ring. Okay, or on the bituminous material. Okay, then after we have to apply a heat so that that bituminous material will get melt okay also we have to add a thermometer on that particular in the particular bow okay to measure the temperature now as you can increase the temperature at 5 degree celsius per minute okay initially you have to take the temperature at 5 degree then after after a minute you can increase it at the 10 degree Celsius, then after 15 degree. Okay. Now, at temperature where the steel ball touches this plate, bottom plate, okay, that temperature should be recorded. And that temperature will give you the softening point of that particular bituminous material. Now, hard grade bitumen possesses the higher softening point than the soft grade bitumen and the softening point of the various bituminous grades used in the paving jobs vary between 35 degree to 70 degree Celsius. Okay, so this was all about the softening point. Next we will discuss on the float taste. Now float taste is generally used to measure the consistency of the material. There is a range of consistency of the bituminous material for which neither an orifice viscometer taste nor the penetration taste could be used. At such cases, in such cases, float taste should be performed to know the consistency of the material. Now, here the apparatus consists of a float made of aluminium and a brass collar that filled with the specimen material that to be tasted which is screwed to the float. The taste specimen is filled in the column mold and then after cooled to a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius and screwed into the float. 
Now this float assembly is floated in a water bath at the 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the time that required in the seconds for water to force its way through the bitumen plug is noted as the float taste value. Okay, so in this particular taste, what we are doing, we are preparing a mold that consisting a bituminous material. Okay, so that particular mold is completely filled. Now, whenever you are fill, uh, filling this particular collar, the bituminous is at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. So, it will get stuck, it will get harder in the mold. Okay, now after that, you are applying that mold into the float apparatus. Okay, now. You are putting that apparatus into a water bath that is having the water of 50 degrees Celsius. So, at 50 degrees Celsius, the bitumen will get melt. And with that, when the bituminous material allows the water to pass through itself, that particular time should be noted. We have a fixed temperature of 50 degrees Celsius okay and at this 50 degrees Celsius at what time that bitumen will allow the water to pass through it should be noted and that value will give you the float value the higher float taste value is this that indicate the stiffness of the material the higher Float value, higher the stiffness, lower the float value, lower the stiffness. Okay, so this was all about the float taste. With this, I am concluding today's lecture. I hope student, you understand all these three tastes on the bitumen. That is the viscosity taste, softening point taste and the float taste. Thank you so much for your kind attention. We'll see you in the next lecture.